Welcome back Bridgewater College Teacher Education Program students. In this screencast we're going to take on the task of multiplying fractions using the rectangle model on the smart board. In each case we're going to start by being presented with a word problem and then we'll do the multiplication using the rectangle model again. So here's our first problem. Three-fourths of the people in a class are female and four-fifths of the females are wearing blue jeans. What fraction of the entire class is female wearing blue jeans? So here's the problem. Again, three-fourths of the class is female and four-fifths of them are wearing blue jeans and we want to know what fraction of the entire class is female wearing blue jeans. We'll do this, of course, with the rectangle tool. Now, many, many times in this class we have discussed that multiplication means make a rectangle. No surprise, we're going to have to construct a rectangle involving fourths and fifths. So let's construct fourths first by dividing our rectangle up into four equal parts. Well, I'll use a vertical tool for that. Okay, I have my rectangle into fourths. Let's mark the place where the third fourth would be. After all, this would be one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. I'm putting that three fourths right at the edge of the third vertical bar. So that so I'm indicating that these three vertical bars here would represent three fourths of the original rectangle. Now let's divide the rectangle into fifths. And I'll do this by using horizontal bars. So I'm going to put in four horizontal bars. We know that we need to put four bars in the interior if we want the total number of regions to be five. Looks like I need to move some of these up just a little bit just to make it equal sized parts. And again that's our intent is that we have got equal size boxes drawn. Let's mark where four fifths would be down this side. Okay, I put four fifths at the edge of the fourth box down, four of the five. We now know that what we need to do is to form a rectangle that encompasses the region bounded by the four fifths and the three fourths. Let's do that with our smiley face tool. So I'll get my smiley face tool and I'll color in the rectangle that's formed by the three fourths dividing line and the four fifths dividing line. And again, we know that multiplication means make a rectangle, and we just have made a rectangle. And our smiley faces show 3 fourths times 4 fifths. So, what's our answer? Well, notice that there are 3, 6, 9, 12 smiley faces. How many blocks in all do we have? I think you'll see there are 20 blocks in all. So the answer must be 12 twentieths. But let's not stop there. After all, we've been practicing finding equivalent fractions. What if I move three of the smileys from the bottom row up to this column? Now you might notice that I've got three rows out of five rows completely colored in. I could even remove the vertical bars now if I wanted to. If I click on a vertical bar and delete delete, delete. Now you can see that what we really have are three of the five parts shaded in. So the answer must also be three-fifths. And indeed, twelve-twentieths equals three-fifths. So, what fraction of the entire class is female wearing blue jeans? Three-fifths. Or we could say twelve-twentieths. Let's try another example. We'll clear a board. This time, I have a yard that is one and three-fourths of an acre. Of my yard, two-thirds of it is grass that I have to cut. How much grass do I have to cut? That is, how many acres of grass cutting do I have to do? 
if I have one and three-fourths of an acre of land of which two-thirds is covered in grass. So we have the multiplication of one and three-fourths times two-thirds. Of course, we'll do it with a rectangle tool. So let's start by dragging our rectangle onto the work area. I'm actually going to make my rectangles be stacked right on top of each other because I know that since this is a multiplication problem, I need to form rectangles. I need to have one and three-fourths. Well, I could go up to the top rectangle and use my horizontal line and make this into fourths. So now I've got one and three-fourths. But just to be consistent, let's make both of them be divided into fourths. And because this may be getting a little confusing, how about if I mark the one and three-fourths mark on here? Okay, notice that I've marked it right at the edge. The first fourths represent one, that's the bottom rectangle, and the next three-fourths represent three-fourths of the second rectangle. Now I need to divide both of these into thirds. Let's use a vertical divider to do that. I'll divide my bottom rectangle into thirds and I'll divide my top one into thirds as well. I think it would be smart of us to now mark where the two-thirds mark would be. So let's do that. Okay, I've got the two-thirds marked at the right edge of this column, representing two of the three sections. Now we'll use our smiley face and we'll create the rectangle. After all, multiplication means make a rectangle. So I'm making a rectangle that's two-thirds wide and one and three-fourths tall. Now, what is a little tricky here is remember that what we really have isn't one rectangle but two, two one stack on top of another. Maybe to make that point I'll take another dividing line and just put it out here just to indicate that what we really have are two of our original rectangles. So at this point we could count our answers. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen smiley blocks. Now remember that each block represents one twelfth because there are twelve blocks in each of our original rectangle. So there are fourteen smiley faces each representing one twelfth so the answer must be fourteen twelfths. But just as we've done in previous problems let's see if we can find an equivalent fraction to fourteen twelfths. I'm going to drag some of my smileys from the top to the bottom rectangle. So I'm going to drag this one down to here. I'll pick this one up and this one and this one. Notice that it now makes one complete rectangle and two smileys left over. In other words, one and two twelfths. I'm going to leave the one alone for the time being. Okay, now I'm going to take this smiley and put him up to here. And I'm going to get rid of a few lines. I'm going to get rid of that line and I'm going to get rid of this line. After all, I've got to make sure that what I end up with are equal size blocks. Indeed I do. And I notice that the top rectangle is in six parts, one of which is colored in. So my answer is one and one-sixth. 